Are you trying to figure out how to maximize the storage space in your small RV kitchen? I hear you because we have an Intex Soul Horizon that is 19 feet long and it has a very small kitchen. So I'm going to show you all of the storage solutions and the products that we bought to maximize the space and really get everything we need in our small RV kitchen. So let's start with the top drawer. And this is where we've put all of the utensils. Uh, these are little containers that I bought at Target earlier in the year. You can buy something similar in most mass market stores, dollar stores, um, you know, for your utensils. And you could have it vertically or horizontally. We just find this works really good. I keep all of my utensils. We try not to use plastic, but we do have it as a backup uh, for when we're boondocking. So we just keep the utensils in there. Don't need more than like a few of each. This is honestly probably too many as it is because while the sink is big, y'all, if you're moving around, you're, you know, you want to do dishes in between so it's not flying around in your sink while you're moving. And also there's only so much stuff you can store in the sink. So that's just keep that in mind as I'm showing you everything. You can't have a ton of dishes that are piling up on the counter because your counter is your stove and then the rest of the surface space is your sink that you're using. So keep that in mind. And then over here is all of the kitchen utensils. We bring a couple knives, can opener, oh so important when you're camping, keep that in mind. Always like some clothes pins, you never know what you need uh, those for. Um, wine bottle or cork opener, bottle opener, lots of kitchen tongs for um, grilling outside. I love these kitchen shears because they can open up plastic packaging like on meats, but they can also cut foods rather than you needing a knife to do it. Um, they also work as normal scissors, you know, if they're clean. So these are from the dollar store. I just really, really highly recommend having those. Um, spatulas, tongs again. This is another dollar store find. And this works great on the griddle outside for kind of like, uh, you can use it like as a chopper and then you can use it as a scraper. So again, that is a dollar store find. And then in the back, back there is where I keep the s'mores marshmallow roasting skewers because I wouldn't want anybody to accidentally get their hands on that when they're putting them in the drawer. So try to keep all of that type of stuff back there. And then handy mitt, again, dollar store, um, just for the hot stuff. And then down here in the second drawer is where I have all of our plates and cups and stuff. Um, again, I said, you know, we have paper as backups and sometimes we like to use the paper stuff, but generally we try to use reusable things. So I have two really small bowls. I know I'm going to get questions on these. So these are Target. FYI, these are like 50 cents. They're super lightweight. When I dry all of this stuff, it dries, or when I wash this stuff, it dries like insanely fast. Then I have that nested in some paper bowls. Those are from Sam's Club. I have a smaller set of these plates. Again, I think they're about 50 cents, come in a variety of colors. Then I have paper plates nested on that. And then I have some of the bigger plates. So that is just perfect for us. Again, like I said, you only need what you're gonna use before you need to do um, some dishes. So that works. Just be sure to nest things in. You get so much more space. And then we have some plastic cups back there. Uh, these, highly, highly, highly recommend these. These are silicone um, cups. And so like if you're doing cocktails or wine, you don't have to worry about it breaking because I've had that problem with glass before. You can drop them, they're fine. They smush if you need them to. And they don't, you don't have to worry about them like, you know, breaking in the drawer, like by banging against anything. I'll put a link to those below. Those come in a variety of colors as well. Uh, let's see, like I said, we have some plastic cups just as a backup. 
those fit in there. We also have insulated coffee mugs, so two of those. We use these for a variety of either hot or cold beverages. It's just, I mean, like if you look at it, we have enough cups for three different meals without washing, and then you have the plastic ones on top of that. So that's where we store those. And then water bottles, two water bottles. Generally, these are with us while we're traveling. I don't normally keep them in here, um, which would mean I would have extra space, but it's just nice to have some place to put them if I need to. And then we stack just a bunch of napkins underneath that. So that is in that drawer. As you can see, I have tons more space. I could still put flat stuff over there. I generally put my vitamins in here so they're not rattling around. Um, but yeah, lots of space. And then I'll show you in this third drawer. So this is where the pots and pans, um, storage things, kind of all the extras are because it's a bit of a deeper drawer. So I'll take these out. These are, um, pot holders <laughs> forgot but it's nice to have these because what I generally do let me show you I have my pots and right now I bought a set of these these are dollar store as well these are pots and pans protectors but when you are traveling all this stuff is going to rattle around so in order to stop that I try to pad everything so what I have been doing is just putting my pot holder under there, yikes, and then putting the pots on top. I would just highly suggest you use something, whether or not it's an actual pot and pan protector or your placement, um, pot holders or whatever, just use something like that. Um, this is where I store the foil because it is a larger box. It doesn't really fit in a lot of places. I have a couple glass storage containers for having leftovers. Uh, always nice to have that. You could obviously do some plastic containers or Ziploc bags, whatever works for you. Um, then I have just a plastic bowl. Again, Target. We have a little, we do cocktails a lot. So this is my measuring glass. You obviously could get like a collapsible plastic measuring cup if you needed that. Um, I'll talk about the pots and pans in just a minute. And then a couple cutting boards in there. So I tested my pots and pans before deciding which ones to bring. It's just a smart idea and you need to do it. So as you can see, this is pretty much um, as many, as big of a pot and pan that I can get on this stove top. This is an eight inch fry pan. And then this is a two quart stock pot. And you might have noticed, like I invert, it's hard to do <laughs> with one hand. I invert that top and just store it like that. So um, in case you have any questions about that. But as you can see, if it got much bigger, you wouldn't be able to have the pots on the center of the burner. So yours might be a little bit different, but just be sure to test them out before you decide to invest all of that drawer space to things that you might not be able to use. On over to the sink area. This is pretty basic. Um, I went ahead and got one of these sponge holders on Amazon. I could put that link below. Uh, that would hold our sponge and any like dish rags or I don't know, even like a scrub brush might be propped up in there. But that's really nice to have a place to put that um, because you do have a little bit of a limited surface space area up here by the sink. And then I got one of these divided storage containers. Again, this was Target. They might not still have them, but you could get something similar. This is where I keep all of the cleaning supplies. So I have a smaller hand soap bottle. Just keep in mind, you only need to travel with what you're going to use. So obviously most hand soap bottles are going to be bigger than this. Are you going to use that much hand soap while you're away for like two weeks? Probably not. So just go ahead and get something small. Generally, we're keeping that on the side over there, but I like how it easily just goes in there um, while we're traveling. And then I would put this inside the sink when we're traveling. Again, in keeping only what you need while you're actually traveling for that trip, I put the dish soap in something like this. This is a dollar store bottle. You get two for like a buck. Um, so yeah, only just take what you need. Over here, uh, have a room spray because, you know, it's an RV and small quarters. <laughs> it's just nice to have something like that. 
And then in front is where I have the cleaning supplies and it might not look like a lot to you, but I do have Branch Basics, which I highly recommend. This is like one of their trial size bottles. This is an all purpose uh, concentrate that pretty much does everything. So this will spray and clean all of the surfaces. It works as a hand soap. It is a fabulous stain remover. Um, you could even use it in your laundry. You can use it everywhere. And because it's a concentrate, I just bring this uh, little bottle of the concentrate and I only need, let me show you, I think I would fill, I only need, this is water up to there and then this is how much concentrate I need. So while it looks small and like it's not gonna last, this would actually last quite, quite a long time. And it's nice that I don't have to have a ton of cleaning supplies. I do bring some sanitizing wipes and I store that underneath the kitchen sink. Um, just for antibacterial use, but that is pretty much what I use, short and sweet. And now on to our overhead cabinets. We do have some narrow cabinets um, in our Intex Soul Horizon, not too deep. If you are an owner and wanna know these dimensions, I do have a list of the exact measurements of everything in the trailer, and I'll link that in the description below. Um, but these, these containers actually work in so many great small spaces and small RVs. I do have an entire other video showing everywhere I use these in our RV. I can link to that. Um, but it is perfect for like all the bags that are going to go flying when you open the cabinet after a travel day. All those little tiny things. We like to put breads in there so that they don't get smushed. Uh, we can fit a couple of those in our overhead cabinets. They do come in different colors and those work really great. So this OXO Good Grips um, container, I really like this, especially since ours fits underneath the latch and they come in so many different styles or sizes and it's really heavy duty, like heavy duty. And you just push the top and it instantly unleashes, <laughs> unleashes, so to speak, um, really good seal. And then just put it down and push it in and it's sealed. I mean, I'm really actually quite happy with that one. And I'm just showing you a lot of different options. Um, you know, it really depends on where we're going, what we're bringing for how long, but I just wanted to show you what we do use. So this is another one that um, I like because it's flat on top. You could stack them if you were in, you know, something that was a little bit bigger and you could just see what is in there. So this stackable box, I will put links to all of these below is great for like teas, you could put snacks, cookies, snack packs, um, granola bars, all kinds of things. And you could still stack stuff on top. And that's what I'm looking for in our uh, kitchen storage is maximizing the vertical space because I can put stuff in, but I need to use all the space to get as much stuff as possible. So that's why I love anything that stacks. And then of course, like Rubbermaid containers, these are the Rubbermaid take-alongs. You can see how many I can fit in there. Those are fabulous for storing all kinds of things. Um, just do keep in mind that if you stack it all the way to the top, those are likely going to be flying off on a travel day, unless you have something uh, tall beside that as well. And then finally, this is a good option. It's not something that we are going to use. Um, I tried it out and it's just not going to work for our needs, but I love these little containers from Target. This one is, I think, $4, but it fits perfectly behind our stove, and it's just great for, like, you know, sugars or if you had coffee beans, coffee grounds, tea bags, whatever you want, and you could fit several of these uh, right in front of the backsplash, so I really like those as an option, too. Now on to the refrigerator. This is something that is so hard to tell you how to customize. I can give you an idea of what I do. It's always gonna depend on the types of foods that we are traveling with for how long. And um, yeah, I'll store, show you my storage solutions and also how we customized the refrigerator and took a few things out so that we would have even more space. This is our refrigerator. It is a Dometic 3.7 cubic foot. This is what is on our Intex Soul Horizon. And what you might notice, first of all, is there is no freezer compartment. And we have decided to take out that freezer compartment and this is what it looks like when you take it out. 
um, just has a couple latches underneath that you would like flip up and slide over and then it easily comes out. So that gives us a little bit more storage space in here. And we also took out, okay, these are bins that I put in. I will show you those in a minute. But you can see under here, there's like a large portion of square space. And I can't figure out how to get this flap off because this is attached to a shelf that I wanna keep. So the flap stays when I uh, took out the tray that they give. But what I sh wanna show you is that Intech, or at least this Dometic refrigerator, I can't say just Intech, the Dometic gives you this slide out tray, but it's not square on the sides. So you lose all that room and then you have to keep everything in the compartments like they've chosen. I don't know, it's just like the most bizarre thing. So this would normally be in there and then you would be losing all the room in the back and it's just weird. So what we have chosen to do is to get two of these storage containers. I can put the link below, but these are um, iDesign and it fits obviously equally on either side. I'm just trying not to make a lot of noise while I'm doing this and it's a little bit harder when you're doing it one-handed. But you can see that they're clear, they're plastic, um, easily can wipe them out. They fit really well, so I really like that. Another thing that I added was, talk about that in a minute, I added this big produce keeper that I found at TJ Maxx. I'll see if I can find this online and put a link below. But what I love about it is that it has a flat surface so I can still store more stuff on top. I was trying to figure out how to best use this space because we don't use a lot of tall things like an or like, you know, an orange juice container or anything like that. And what we need is more um, lateral surface space. So I love this because I can store things inside. Again, it's clear plastic. I can see through and that flat surface so I can put stuff on top. Now you saw me move this. These are from Target. I think they're two for $2. We defrost meats in here because, you know, you don't want any um, leaks in the refrigerator while defrosting meat. You could also store produce or whatever you want in here. And they're just really nice because they fit on all of the the shelves, most of the shelves, I can get them under there. So again, more storage space, easily cleans and wipes out. So I really, really like those as well. Um, so over here on the door, there are these three um, shelves. FYI, a lot of people when they get this refrigerator wonder what this is. I also wondered what it was. And apparently it snaps in like over here and then you're supposed to put like bottles in between there so it doesn't like um, fly around in the refrigerator while you're traveling. I think that's stupid. I think it's just <laughs> kind of ridiculous. <laughs> um, just make sure, you know, pad the bottles in there on your side. I don't know. This is not anything that we've ever used. I generally make sure that there's like a plastic bottle, then glass and plastic, then glass if I need to. And again, I'll do another video when we're actually um, using all the food in there. But we have chosen to remove this shelf. It just comes up really easy. And that is how we get our water pitcher. Because I like to extra filter water and then I like to have it cold. So that water pitcher fits right in there. And then generally we have, you know, like a mustard bottle or relish jar or something on either side. And it just works really good. And up here, you have this that has that lift up flap. Generally, I think, I don't know, I guess you could put eggs up there. We just put like ketchup packs and little things, lemons and stuff like that. So that is how we have chosen some storage systems for the refrigerator. And just FYI, also, if you're in a Soul Horizon and you're trying to customize your refrigerator, you do need to take that table off because the refrigerator will not open fully unless you take the t um, tabletop off.
The tabletop being on is not a problem when you want to open the refrigerator when you're using it on a daily basis. That's not the issue. But in order to have it be wide enough to get the shelves out and to get that um, freezer out, just don't get frustrated. Keep in mind that you do need to take the tabletop off and then the uh, refrigerator door will open more widely. Wondering how I organize the rest of our RV? Then check out this video right here. We also have a blog post in the description below full of shoppable links of all the products we use.